My name is Bruce Lindy. I'm the Jayco Tobel Sales Manager at Vaught RV, and we're glad you're here. If you've seen my videos before, you understand that I'm kind of a construction guy, a Dummies 101 guy, and a comparison guy, and that's not going to end today. Many units that you'll see in competitive comparisons on other dealers' units are going to emphasize their large TV, their large bed, their large refrigerator. I'm the guts of the build guy that's going to show you the reasons, at least 20 of them, maybe 30, on why you want to have this unit. One big advantage of our construction is that it's going to allow you to make great memories, have better resale value, and have less time in service. First thing I want to talk about is warranty. The most important thing about a Jayco product is its warranty. First of all, if you've been looking at many other competitors' units, the industry standard for warranty is one year. That's going to be on the entire coach and also could be on construction and also could be on the Chinese tire. With Jayco, you get a two-year warranty against factory defect, and that covers over 4,600 parts on the unit. Also, they have a three-year structure warranty. It's the best in the business, and it's meant to take care of you. Let's look at the unit, and this first one is the North Point 310 RLTS. The RLTS stands for Rear Living Room Triple Slide. The dry weight on this unit is 12,807 pounds, and the gross weight is 15,000 pounds. As you can see, the model number is 310. A lot of people feel that's an indicator of length, but the actual tip-to-tip -tip length on this is 36 foot 1 inches. Let's go so over some of the outside features. I want to start right up at the front nose. One of the first things you'll see here on this North Point is it does not have a standard pin box. The pin box is by a company called Moride that also makes the suspension. The advantage of this pin box, if you've had experience towing fifth wheels and noticed any jerking when you take off from a dead start, this Moride pin box will have a rubber equalization suppression system, so when you start out from a dead stop, it absorbs that shock and you have a smooth pull away. That's critically important to having a great experience towing. One thing I want to talk about that many people don't know is the actual frame. It's made by a company called Lippert. All of our competition with their frames just have the frame come in and they just slap the coach on top of it. It's not a perfect fit and there could be sagging and other things. We have engineer designers at Jayco that give specific requirements to Lippert to build their frames to specification. That will get a perfect fit on your coach, less chance of floor sagging and other things. A little bit more about that frame, Jayco adds to their frame every four to six feet outriggers so when the walls are fitted to the frame, they fit perfectly, they're snug, and you're always going to have a strong unit. Also some other construction features that I think are critical you should know about while we're looking at the outside is the construction of the roof itself. This is a six inch roof where most of our competitors are just a five inch roof. They also have oversized steel plates at the end of the joints, it makes it a stronger fixture. Now moving along the outside of the unit, one of the key features I like to emphasize about Jayco is the vacuum sealed walls. Most of our competitors will take their wall, which will consist of fiberglass, aluminum framing, Luon, which is the wood and glue, and they'll lay it on a table and roll it with a heavy duty roller in about five seconds. All that does is make a quick seal, but over time there's still air pockets, there's also moisture pockets, bubbles can form and the walls can even separate. You may say it, okay, that's not a big deal, it's just cosmetic. Well, it is at that time, but when you go time to trade that unit in, they now turn that word cosmetic to damage. What Jayco does is they spend a little more money, they do the same process, but they put this sidewall in a vacuum for 16 minutes under 144 tons of pressure. In 20 years that I've been selling Jayco, I have not seen a bubble on a sidewall, I've not seen decals fall off, so while you're using it, it's less time in service, and that adds to resale. One other thing, statistics have proven over time, Jayco's also give you 11% greater value at trade-in time than the competitors. All of our units in the front compartment, I don't have room to open it based on where the truck is at this time, but they're all generator prepped. Uh, we don't put the generator in until you tell us the exact size or if you actually want it for dry camping considerations, but we do prep them on all the units. One other thing we prep for on the outside is a backup camera with side view cameras. All of these have that. As we move around to the back, I'll show you the side view camera. What that allows you to do is have a wireless remote monitor in your dash on the truck, which allows you to see behind the vehicle if you're backing by yourself without a spotter. Let's look at the storage compartment. One unique feature about all of the Jayco storage compartments is they're totally square and clean. You can see that there's no pipes, there's no wirings, there's no tubes. A lot of the competitors have that. They're going to allow you to maximize all the space. 
available. Uh, some of these can be ordered also with a tailgater 39 inch TV. That's not available in any of the other competitors unit. It is an option for the North Point. This one does not have it. One other feature they do have that'll benefit you, you can see right here is the external bag area for the central vacuum. We'll see that when we go inside. You can hook a 20 foot hose to that vacuum receptacle, you can vacuum, or you can sweep the materials up to what I call the sucker and there's a port where you can push your foot and then all of the materials will go in. The next thing I wanna point out is the steps that are on the front door. Uh, most of the older coaches would have steel steps that you'd either have to fold up and they were tough to fold, or they would bend when you step on one side, or they were just not level. With this particular mechanism, as you can see as we lift these steps, they go up real easy, they're lightweight, they have adjustable legs, so if you have uneven terrain, they can move, and also they're zero degree where you can let go of them, they won't fall and hit you in the head. As you put them back down, also, if you have a hip problem or you're elderly, you have a lower first step, which gives you the easier access to get into the unit. Super stable, watch me go up. No issues whatsoever. They also have an extra large extendable grab handle on the outside, which gives you more support and stability to go into the unit. One other thing we do at Vought RV that a lot of competitors don't do, we set these up the way you're gonna enjoy them the most. We're not a person or dealership that wants to sell price. We want to sell you a coach that you're gonna enjoy that has great value and will take care of you. A couple instances of how that is happening on this coach. Number one, you have a second power patio awning on the exterior of the slide, which is an option. That'll open out eight feet also and has an LED light strip for nighttime viewing to sit under. Add that to the main patio awning that's over 20 foot long. You now have over 30 foot of awning to sit out under and enjoy the night sky, have a campfire, whatever you're gonna do for outside activity. One other key factor about construction on all the Jayco's is everything's American made parts. That starts number one with the tires. If you look at my competitors, as I mentioned earlier, if it's a one year warranty, they probably have a one year warranty Chinese tire. You can watch YouTube videos in a lot of cases they get real hot within five months and they'll blow. Um, we're gonna put American-made Goodyear Endurance tires, meaning Jayco will, on every single unit. These are 16-inch tires. They're the highest ply in the industry. The warranty is six years on these tires. Now let's say you even hit some road debris and blow a tire, which you weren't expecting. One other key factor that Jayco does and no one else does to my knowledge is they put 70 inches of steel in the wheel well. What that does is if you blow the tire, it may wreck the fender skirt that costs you $100 to repair. In the competitor's coach, it comes up through the underbelly, wrecks the wiring, and could come up through the floor and be thousands of dollars damage. I've seen it on consignments that have come into our dealership. It's just another step that Jayco shows you through 52 years of business, being family owned and operated. They want you to be part of a family, so they're gonna take care of you and build the best and most solid coach. These also have Dexter Never Lube axles, which are American made. They're 7,000 pounds rated each. Also, the front nose cap's 2,500 pounds rated, so it's rated for more than any load you could put on this unit. One other thing this has is frameless windows. Gives you a nice, real professional look. These are what are also called jealousy windows. They'll fully extend out, so you can have any kind of cross ventilation you want if there's no air conditioning uh, going on. One other thing, if we step back a little bit, but look at the top of the slide, we've put slide out awning toppers on all of the slides. That is also an option. And on some of the units, if they don't have it, they're still prepped. Now the advantage of having them prepped, you have the correct backers already on there from the factory, and they're then warrantied by the factory, which is a smoother, cleaner process. Now the advantage of having these on there is if you're at a park where there's some trees or branches or leaves that get on top of that slide, if you didn't have those covers and you did not sweep that off, as you shut the slide, it would not shut tight and over time it would eat up that rubber seal and then produce leaks. So we want to avoid that. It has the convenience now of taking care of that. Those automatically shut and open with the power slides. One last thing I want to tell you also in regards to the slides, some of my competitors have hydraulic slides. If you didn't know the advantages and disadvantages, one key advantage of having electric rack and pinion slides is you can independently take out the slides. Generally with hydraulic slides, all four have to go out to get to a particular slide. And if there's cold weather and a hydraulic hose is cut, you may not be able to operate the slide. These are much uh, easier to operate. And again, you can take them in and out individually. I wanna show you a couple more things on the way around. 
One other key feature that this has that we can see better through the bottom of the slide, this has a one button auto level hydraulic equalizer system. So you have six point system for stability and support. This can even lift the unit and um, make sure that you're level in everything you do. One other thing Jayco has that no other manufacturer has, it's their patent pending JSmart system. With the JSmart system, in my competitors, if you turn on a turn signal, one light at the top in the right rear corner will indicate your right turn intention, but with Jayco, you'll have a middle light, right light, and three lights down the right side show, showing four to five lights that you're gonna turn right. Makes you much more safe when you're changing lanes. Also, as I mentioned earlier, the side view cameras will allow you to see down the side. None of my competitors offer that. Our backup camera is up at the top of the unit in the middle here. Again, this camera is installed in the mounting bracket. It also comes with either a five inch or seven inch wireless remote monitor that will be on your dash. So if you're by yourself, you can back this unit up without having any problems. One other thing we put on the back of these coaches so that if you wanna put a cargo tray or generator or some other things, we have a class three receiver hitch actually welded to the frame, it's not bolted. It has a 300 pound capacity, that means you could put a cooler, a generator, or anything else you want a bungee cord to a cargo tray. These all do have ladders with backers so you could get up to the roof. Some people have asked me, why do I need to get up on the roof? Well, that's the only way you can get up there to service your air conditioner, number one. But a lot of these roofs that are TPO, which stands for thermal polyolefin, it's part rubber and part plastic, it allows you to go up there and put some cleaner conditioner on the roof to maintain the 12-year warranty. Uh, just be careful in your terminology. The 12-year warranty on the rubber is only for the rubber of the roof and it's not the whole roof. That falls under the construction warranty. A couple things I wanna show you around the passenger side. You have a 50 amp cord that plugs in. Um, real easy to take care of. You can just roll that up and throw it back up into the storage compartment. Um, but as we move down the side, there's two things I wanted to promote before we go inside. Easy access door to the back of our residential refrigerator, so if a motherboard goes out, you do not have to remove the entire uh, refrigerator, and you can easily fix and replace that. One other feature Jayco has that none of my competitors have is what's called the Sanicon Waste Evacuation System. Most people that have had campers are aware that you have to do a manual gravity dump through the main tube down here, and pull your black and gray handle to have everything exit, and you have to put a hose on here and take it off, and that can get messy. And with this system, internally, it has a button which activate, activates a macerator in the black tank, so it will liquefy all the solids in the black tank, and then the hose can connect to the septic, and it will pump all of your tanks, all three of them, at 40 gallons a minute. So it's gonna be faster, cleaner, and it's gonna be all liquid. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out in this other side of the storage compartment is what's called the service center. All of your controls from your auto level through your solar are all listed here. One thing I want to emphasize that Jayco has, my competitors don't too, is we have solar prep on the roof and also in the service compartment. Many of them have them in one location, but not two. Another key factor is all of the pull valves for the manual evacuation are all in a heated assembly. So some you know, competitors say that they're four season, but their pull valves aren't heated. If they're not heated, you can't dump your tanks. Also, as we'll see when we go inside, there's a five gallon water bottle here that's connected to the residential refrigerator, as well as a, another spigot next to the sink, so where you could have totally purified water for drinking. Most will just have a filter that just takes the hard chemicals out, but it's not totally purified. So that's basically a good walk around on the outside. Let's head back around and go into the inside. I wanna go over a few more things with you there. One other test you can do when you walk up to a coach if you're at a dealership is go up to their back walls, put your hand on there, and just do a light pat. It should be rock solid. Some walls that actually give two or three inches, that means they've already separated in the sealing process of that pinch roll that I talked about before. It's just a good test. If you're at a dealership, make sure no one's inside. You might scare them first, but that's something you can do. Just one quick reminder before we go back inside, if you have any questions about any of these, see us on Facebook or YouTube or go to vaudrv.com. Also give us a call at 817-831-1800. We'll answer any questions, we'll tell you availability. We have other models besides these, they're all on sale. We have specials, we have great financing. We also have great parts and service available. 
We're one-stop shopping. We can go over any of your truck needs to make sure the appropriate truck is in place and help you with everything you're doing. One key indicator that a dealership's taking care of you too that customers appreciate is the fact that also our salespeople on the towable side are not on commission. We're just happy that we can find the right coach that you can make the right memories. Let's step inside. Hey folks, make sure to give us a like and subscribe below for content just like this. And make sure to check back here often for a lot more content. Let's get back to the video. As we come inside, one thing I wanted to tell you, with all the North Points, you have two different types of decor available. The newest rage again lately has been what's called the modern farmhouse, which this unit is. As you can see, it has the lighter cream cabinets with a little bit of dark accentuation in the cracks. This just brings more ambient light into play. If you don't care for that one, there is a cashmere that still has some of the darker wood available, so there is two different wood patterns that are available. Um, the next thing is uh, uh, another option that's available, our hard surface countertops. This unit has it. It gives a nicer feel and there's less chance of any cracking. Also, these come with sink covers. One is a bamboo cutting board. The other is a, a drainer, so you can put your dishes on here. You have high-end faucets as well. One other thing I wanted to point out, this little silver circle. If you pop this up, it's basically a little service center in itself. It has a couple electrical outlets and USB charging ports, and it gives you the ability to add a crock pot, a toaster oven, a coffee pot to the other outlets. But Jayco's really good. Sometimes there's outlets that you can't see. You have to look under cabinets and stuff, and as you can see here, there's an electrical outlet underneath, because some will say, hey, it only has two or three, and there ends up being six. Uh, a couple other things just for feature benefit that are great about these units. These have the Insignia oversized oven. You could put a full turkey in here and it has four burners with all different settings for the burners. So it's great for a Thanksgiving family reunion, something else. Also, we've upgraded to add the convection microwave. So if you're low on propane, you don't want to use the oven or you're saving the propane for the furnace, you can use the convection, especially if you're at a campground where you have unlimited electricity for the price of your stay. This will work fast and take care of you. We also have the largest refrigerator in the industry. It's a 21 cubic foot, which also goes with a 1200 watt inverter. So some people are saying, hey, it's not gas electric. How am I gonna operate this? Well, you have the capability on these coaches to have increased batteries that will change 12 volt to 110 through the inverter and let this run while you're going down the road. No spoiled food. Also, the other nice key feature with this one is, is it has ice water and ice dispenser for your favorite drinks. This also has a large TV that's a pop-up TV. We can make this operate right now. If you wanted ambient light to see your neighbors or kids or friends, if they're hiking or swimming somewhere or canoeing, you can see them. You can pop up the TV and you can put it down. Jayco recently has gone to an upgraded JBL stereo system, so you have high quality sound throughout. This particular unit also has an electric fireplace that has a 5,000 BTU furnace. Another advantage if you're at a campground that gives you that unlimited electricity I was talking about and you're low on propane, you don't need to turn on your furnace. You can turn this on because it's again a 5,000 BTU electric furnace and it will heat this entire area. It has multiple controls and a remote so it's easy operation. You have a height of bed sofa in the back. It's almost queen size so if it's predominantly two and you have a couple other guests, you can then um, add the guests uh, moving over to the recliners, uh, there are wall huggers that will recline fully, and they also have heat and massage in the chairs. When you move to the dinette, uh, you have basically a table where you could put magazines, pens, and pencils in the back. This will also fully extend, and there are two other chairs of the same fabric type that are under the bed. Um, one thing I want to mention that none of my competitors have is the same type air conditioning system we have. This has what's called a Helix air conditioning racetrack system. It's vented to give more flow than what the competitor's air conditioning system will do. My competitors may have a 15,000 BTU Quiet Whisper residential similar to what you see on the ceiling here, but if they do, it's generally only one. We're gonna give you the second one in the bedroom. Most of my competitors will have a 13,500 BTU that's just a regular unit with knobs on the ceiling, and on some occasions, those can sound like a lawnmower. So we've stepped up giving you more BTU in a quieter environment, and uh, most people love that system. 
As we move towards the steps, a couple things you can see. I had talked about the central vacuum, which is right here. And as I kneel down, a censored light came on on the stairs. But this here is the, the gusher port that will suck up the dust. And then this is the port where you can put the hose in if you want to go around the room and vacuum. Uh, right here is the inverter control panel. This is what operates the uh, refrigerator. And then here's our main control panel. A couple of things I want to tell you about this. This is the BM Pro system, and you can utilize this through your phone as well. You're able to operate lights, slides, air conditioner, check tank levels, and battery levels here. But one other thing this has that none of my competitors have is there's a section for tire pressure monitoring, and there's tire pressure monitors that would be put on the tire, and then the readout can come here, so you're able to see what your pressure levels are for your tire, which is critically important, and you can see it all from here. This also can be uh, linked into your phone so that everything works through your phone the same as it does on this panel. One other thing this panel does is it has little circuit areas where it receives signal from this main control panel and energizes other panels. Um, I'm gonna turn past this way and go over. In each section, from living room all the way to bedroom, are these little control panels that work off the BM Pro, so you don't always have to go to the main control panel. One example is, is if you're home and you're by yourself and you're actually in the bedroom, in the bed, and you hear a noise outside, from that control panel right next to the pillow, which I'll show you in a minute, you can actually turn all the interior and all external lights on with one push of a button. So it gives you a better safety factor and uh, comfort level. So let's go back up the steps, head past this BM Pro. Also on the way, I'm seeing a couple more in different location are some more USB charging ports. There's two in the kitchen, there's a couple over by the sofa, and there may be more up in the other area. Uh, one of the key features here too that my competitors don't have are these big walk-in showers. Uh, very nice with a nice seat that can sit down. Again, if the wife wants to shave the legs, something like that. They have skylights, all, all up-to-the-date uh, high-end fittings. We also have a power vent fan in the bathroom as well. As you come into the bedroom, all of our units, uh, one thing that's different from us and the competitors, the, all of ours come with king bed standard. Uh, in the competition, it'll be queen, and some of them are even short queens. If we do have queens, all of ours are full 60 by 80. You can see the second quiet whisper residential air that I was talking about. This other box that you see here is what's called a Gateway 360 router. Gives you ability through your phone to be able to have um, different connections for your phone anywhere you're at. So that can be taken care of. Huge closets for hanging wardrobe. As we slide these doors, you can see there's all kinds of wardrobe with great sensor lights and shelves. If you decide you want to add a stackable washer dryer, you don't have to have just the combo. You could actually have a stackable. We would remove the three shelves and put in the washer dryer for you. There is a little bit of storage under this bed. I like to show that. It's on gas struts. You can see the other two chairs are here and also the monitor for the um, remote camera as well as the hose for the central vacuum is under the bed. So you have all kinds of storage besides what's outside and what's inside and lots of accent lighting. As you can see under these cabinets, there's accent lighting. There's some outside, but in the kitchen area around the uh, island area. Let's head back outside. Well, that basically concludes the North Point walk around. We're gonna do the pinnacle shortly. I just wanna reemphasize again, uh, if you have any questions, we're already sitting and waiting, ready to go over anything. Just reach out to us on either Facebook or reach out to us on our website or call 817-831-1800. We're now gonna move on to the pinnacle. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on content you'd like to see, we'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Vaught RV.